Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends. Uh, sorry if I am late a little bit. Uh, today our topic is just to show you how Muslims, what, what Muslims do you knew about their God, you know, how much they knew really. Uh, you know, when you see somebody is so excited, uh, he's a Muslim, yeah, Allah, blah, blah, you know, like, uh, okay. The second you ask a question, very simple question, they have no idea what to say. In the Bible, it speak about the throne of God. But we don't believe that this is physical. God do not need a chair, you know. Throne simply is a symbolic of a king, authority, uh, ability. But it's not really a chair, unless it is for a human being, you know. Uh, the God of Islam, he speak about his throne. And uh, yesterday I was like reviewing some videos and uh, you know, YouTube suggests to me videos, but usually YouTube suggests to me my videos, which is funny. So uh, a Muslim, he called us and we have a nice conversation together. Yeah, by the way, uh... right now. But what, what... This is this is the call. Let's start from the beginning. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, Mr. Ibn. How are you? Um. Uh, well, how are you? I'm very fine. Welcome to <coughs> our program. You know, we have a lot of people here on YouTube, and we would like to hear from you something good about Islam. So, what do you like to tell us? I heard that you converted 42 people to into uh, into Islam. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Guys, he, this guy, he was training a lady. He converted 42 people to Islam. How many? 42. Alibaba and the 40 thief. Okay. So he converted 42 people to Islam. It's a true story. Okay. All right. Maybe today you can make me number 43. Go ahead, please. What's 43 this? I mean, you just say, you told them that you converted 42 people into Islam. So I'm saying maybe you can make me number 43 or convert to Islam. Uh, okay, why not? Sure, go ahead. Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Go ahead. Okay, uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. By the way, who are you first? Uh, my name is a Christian. Should I show you my ID? No, 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 okay. no, no. I, I, I'm not. Okay, but, uh, but where are you from? Uh, you know, depend. Right now, I am in America, so I am in America right now. But what, what, your original from America? Well, are you American original? No, originally I am. Uh, yeah, I am from India. India. Yeah. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah. And you uh, wait. You said you go to to YouTube. Yeah, I go to YouTube. Sometimes YouTube come to me. I don't know. Depend. My friend, what does have to do with our topic? Go ahead. Tell me something good about Islam. <laughs> Do you go to YouTube? And like what this uh, Arab guy, Christian Prince, what he said to him. No, sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes I go to YouTube and sometimes YouTube come to me. I mean, it makes, it makes sense. Oh, okay. All right. Well, do you go to YouTube? I don't know. The guy is calling me. He knew I am in YouTube. And, uh, hmm. oh boy. Did you uh, reward my, my sound? Yes, Every, everybody, sound? everybody, uh, we are in no, YouTube. No, 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 no. no. We, we are live no, no on YouTube. No recorded, please. Oh, well, you have to hang up then, because because this is in YouTube. We are live on air. No, right no, now. because, because, because I, I, I do not uh, like that. Okay, don't. When, then, when, okay, when, uh, then hang I, up. I, okay, hang I up. Do not, uh, okay. I, I, okay. He called me in YouTube. He knew I am live. And he don't like that. <laughs> and then I said to him, hang up. And then he called me again. He went like, <laughs> I do not like care. famous. All right. No problem. He don't like to be famous. He don't like to be famous. <laughs> so we're going around telling people that you made 42 people became Muslims. You don't like to be famous. Okay. But, but by, you don't by like to way, be famous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But by the way, uh, my friend, uh, Christian, I said uh, first, Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. And, you. Uh, and uh, inshallah, you are uh, humble 
and uh, I'm not here to to uh, to insult Christian. No problem, you, no you problem. My, my friend, if you want to stay and, with uh, us, my friend, and, even even if you want to stay with us, yeah. Th the issue is you are saying you don't like to be recorded. We are live on YouTube, and this is not a choice. So if you don't like to be recorded, yeah. please hang up, hang up. Uh, 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 otherwise, stay with us, and then people will hear you. We have more than almost 225 people listening right no, now. No, no, I, I do not track. I, I do not track. Uh, okay, no, take care. I, okay, I take care. Go. Okay, take care, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. You don't want to be famous. You are famous already. Where are you from? He's, he's calling again. Why are you calling back? Yes, uh, uh, Ibn. I thought you don't like to be famous. Hello? To be famous, um, I, I want to discuss you. My friend, but I I, want to tell if you, you want to talk to me, you will be recorded because right now I am live in YouTube. I am live in YouTube. No, 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 no. What I, I can do? I mean, this I is the only way. Like so don't don't call me then, my friend. Don't call me. I am live in YouTube. Okay, People are okay. hearing us. Okay. If you want, yeah, okay. if you, nice, if, you nice, if, nice. if it's okay for you to be recorded and to be in YouTube, Brent, you uh, are Christian, welcome. Christian, Christian, no, yes. nice, nice. You tell me that the truth. I, li I like that and nice. Yeah, nice. No, no. I thought my friend she told uh, she told okay. you already because we are live in YouTube, my friend. We are not. Uh, uh, playing games. Thank you. We are live on YouTube. If you like Thank to stay, you. you are more than welcome. But 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 but, but uh, uh, Christian, why why do not uh, ask or discuss about uh, about the Christians and Islam? We can uh, without uh, fame. You, you see, we, we, my we, friend, we, my we, friend, I am here to talk to the people who they are my friends. I have more, uh, almost three three hundred people are there, so I'm talking to them. I don't know who, I don't know you. You are coming to call me or not? I'm talking to them already, and I, it's going to be rude from me to hang up on them and just to talk to you. I mean, I have, imagine you have a house, you have a 300 people, you're talking to you, and then you say to them, bye bye, because I have even I want to talk to. You know what I mean? Wallahi, sure, sure, yeah, 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 Prince, yeah, I understand. When and mm -hmm. but, but you want to help, please help first yourself. And like my, like, like I, I am, when I, when I want to help, I, I directly I will help myself. No problem. My, you, my, when friend, you, when, my friend. When, 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 when you died, when you died, you go to hell or you go, go to paradise. Yeah. Okay. That was that what what, what I said. You, you know my Islam, friend. Islam. Why why come Islam? Hmm. Islam. Why come Islam? Islam come hmm. to worship of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And, and who is Allah? To do more, who, more, who is Allah? Okay. Who is Allah? That's mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Who is? Uh, me and you worship him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala living in, in, in sky. In sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala ala arsh istawa. Okay, what what is tawa mean? What is tawa mean? What what ala al arsh istawa mean? Ala al arsh istawa that means okay, you know Arabic? Yeah, I, I speak Arabic for sure. You know, I told you that, uh, my friend, I'm asking you now, what does Tawa mean? Are you surprised? You mentioned something to me. No, and not, no, and not, no, my friend. Allah Ibn. subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Allah said, No, that's another question. Allah I'm asking said, you. Le, 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 my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that means who is Allah? No. Allah. You said Allah. Allah. Al -arsh istawa. Allah. Al -al -arsh istawa. What does that mean? You are the one who mentioned this. He is the stawa on the throne. What does stawa mean? Well, Shuf, my, my friend, do you want to, to tell me to, to tell you in, in English? You cannot understand. No, no, tell me. I will means. understand. Don't worry. Tell me in English. What does stawa mean? Translate, please. Because I understand, as okay. I understand, not even single Muslim know what does that mean. So why you are saying to me that Allah is stawa al arsh when we ask the Muslim what does stawa mean, nobody knows. No, 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 no. Do you know? Who, who tell you? Who tell you that? Okay, no, no, give me the answer. Go ahead. Give me the answer. What's the one? <coughs> okay. Okay. Now, now. Uh, uh, by the way, hmm. I, 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 I discuss, I discuss you because you are, you are a believer. Hmm. You are not atheist. Right. I'm not an atheist. You know, absolutely. you know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. When? Okay. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, I, I want to talk in Arabic. You understand Arabic? My friend, you see, you said that, yes. uh, when you spoke to Renee, the, the girl, he, she invited you here, she said that you were listening to me in live broadcast in her room. So you know I speak English. You know that it was in English. And you agreed to come to speak in English. And now you want to speak in Arabic. 
So please explain to us in English because okay, all, no, no, no. all my audience are English people. They don't speak Arabic. I'm the only one who speaks little Arabic. So what the word istawa mean? Okay, nice. Uh, well, uh, first, when, when I said, Allah in the Holy Quran said, Ar Rahman wa al Arsh istawa. Okay. Okay. Al istawa. That's uh, that's uh, uh, that's what said in English. That's sifa fi'liya lil Rabb Subhanahu wa Taala. What does that you mean? Understand? No. What does that mean? Still, you do not give me an answer. What istawa mean? استوى صفة فعلية للرب سبحانه وتعالى. What does that mean? What what is the position? What he's doing? He's, he is sitting. He is standing. Yeah. What is what is what does that no, mean? No, no. Okay. Means okay. Means means okay. I want to tell you. Hmm. When I said this land, this land, you you said no. This is land uh, about me. Okay. I I said give me your. your when I said for example when 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 you say this house, it's me. Okay. And I said, give me your proof. You what? Give me papers. This is this is house is you. Okay, you understand now? That means in, in Arabic. means al-istila. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala arsh istawa. That's what means. What, uh, you know, my friend. What is istawa? What is istila? This is, this is a, a throne. He jump on the throne. How he jump? What he do? He, he, is he standing? Is he sitting? Is he sleeping? Explain to us. You did not tell me until now what istawa mean. And I am telling you, not even one Muslim in the whole universe can tell me what does that mean. Because your Muslims are afraid to say that Allah is sitting in the throne. Is that correct? Is he sitting? Is he standing? No, 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 no. Okay, so Allah now in the throne. What, what this verse is saying that Allah he is on the throne. How he is in the throne, it says istawa. What istawa mean? Sitting, standing, sleeping. Give me an option. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hmm. This is not the question. How can I? Uh, how can I? Uh, no, 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 no. I want to answer you, but you do not uh, want to to, uh, to to that truth. Allah say, Allah la, do, do not sleep. My friend. By the way, my friend, and, this is not the question. You, uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa taala, and, and Allah subhanahu wa taala, you cannot, you cannot, <coughs> you cannot uh, believe him. Oh, not, not believe him. You cannot uh, ask about how Allah subhanahu. Not like, not like Bible. When Bible says, uh, so you cannot, so you cannot. Okay, let us make it simple. So you do no, not no, know. No, no, so you no, do not no. know. You are, you, I asked you how Allah is sitting in the chair. I, I asked you how. I yeah, Ibn, Ibn, listen, I, listen. No, you do not know. Okay, I, how Allah is sitting in the chair? No. Let me repeat the question. You said to me, no, uh, uh, no one is like Allah. This is not my question. I don't know. I don't care if Allah, no one like him or not. I'm asking you how he is sitting in the chair. Can you tell me? Instead of giving all this speech, you do not yeah, know. Ma, ma, yeah, a Christian, a Christian. Are, are you are you Arab? My friend, it doesn't matter where I'm from. It doesn't matter where I'm from. What does have to do with the question? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, you, no, no, because you, you're, My friend, you're Lebanon. I you speak, are Arabic. My friend, I speak Arabic better, better than anyone you ever heard of. This is yeah. not the question. I'm asking you now, what does Tawa mean? What does Tawa mean? Tawa means istila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala What does that mean? You say, guys, I said to him, what does Tawa mean? He says, Allah is Tawa. This is not the answer. What does Tawa mean? What Allah did? Allah in the throne doing what? What is that exactly? Stawa, what he's doing? He's riding the throne. He is sitting on the throne. He is laying down. Okay. He is doing yoga. What does Stawa mean? I want to tell you. Uh -huh. Okay. Al Kursi, Al Ladi Wasi As Samawati Wal Arb. Le Mawabi Akadami. Wama Yukadru Laha Al Kadar Al Arsh Al Ladi Al Ladi Khalaka. Mumtaz. What does this have to do with my topic? Tay. Okay. Allah, uh, okay, now a shaykh. Allah's hair is so big, it's the same size as the heaven and the earth. It's uh, the hair of Allah is very big. But what does this have to do with my question? But for sure, Allah is big, it's very huge. Allah is Akbar, you know? This is how big He is. <laughs> this is Allah is big, it's very huge. Allah is Akbar, you know? This is how big He is. <laughs> they don't know. Now look at this. Sheikh al Asaymin, he said that the throne is what Allah, he stawa on it. <laughs> the question is, what is what is stawa? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they don't know. They have no idea. This is the Arab. What about those who don't speak Arabic? If the Arab have no idea. 
والكرسي موضع قدميه لقول ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما الكرسي موضع القدمين. Can you translate? Okay. طيب. Can you translate please? You, are, you, you know Arabic. My friend, the audience, all, all the people Arabic. on YouTube, I have, okay. I have 300 people on YouTube. I... Listen. The throne of Allah, his, his feet is in the chair. <laughs> I said, can you translate? <laughs> they want to understand what you said. Go ahead. And Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah don't have body. He just said, this guy, Allah, his feet is on the chair. Go <laughs> ahead in English, please. So Allah, he no, said, no, no. Allah is no, in the you chair. Too, you said Allah is in the throne and his, his feet uh, was my, in the my, chair. My, what does that mean? He's reclining, he is uh, doing my, yoga, my, massage. My, my, my friend, uh, my friend, please, no, no YouTube. My friend, no, I am in YouTube uh, already. You don't want to talk, hang up. I told you from the beginning, I am no, in no, YouTube. No, no, no. No YouTube, no. It's not a... <laughs> uh, this is an example how those people function. They have no idea what Islam is. You know, those people are copy-paste. They didn't know. He just repeats. It's like a recording machine, what he heard before. Then, in the same day, we receive many quarters. Let me see. Which one? Nicely friendly. Okay, who is the one who will explain this verse to me? Let's see. This guy, he cannot even read the proper Arabic. Let us see. We have here, let's move. Another caller, he called us. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I totally and he repeat that. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm just searching for where the uh, call started. His order. So we have, we have an order that's coming from Allah. And we have orders come from Muhammad. And, and as you know, as you know, Muslim they yeah. say that Muhammad he said hadith which cancelled the Quran. Is that correct? Yeah, I do believe that nonsense theory that the Quran is being cancelled. All of the Quran is non sakh mansukh, and you have the hadiths now to you know highlight the Islam or promote Islam, whatever the Islam is today. It's just nonsense bullshit. And you have seen these these people are brain dead. You can't really expect an answer like that Sheikh from Al Azhar, whatever he was. He just ran off like a little girl. His PC wasn't working. Yeah, but what is what the problem with this guy? What is the answer for? He called me supposedly to answer me about that, and now he is saying to me the hadith you mentioned is not accepted. Why is not accepted? Same time, I showed two verses from the Quran, not only a hadith, because there is a verse in the Quran that says that any verses we cause to be forgotten. Right? This is the, the chapter of Al Baqarah. So yeah, the, any any verses yeah. we cause to be forgotten, and the other one says, oh, "I will give you a Quran, and you will not forget." So how we will cause to be forgotten? And I asked the sheikh. I think you were listening, right? I asked the sheikh. Yeah. Who is the one yeah. who who hear the verse speaking about Muhammad? I gave him three options. This verse is speaking to Muhammad, or speaking to Muslims, or speaking to Muhammad and the Muslims. He said to Muhammad, correct? Well, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, yeah, maybe. That's yeah, you can you said. can go and play it again. So he said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I totally believe and he repeated that twice because I gave him the question more than one time. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So Muhammad is 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 a promise not to forget the Quran. All right, but Muhammad is forgetting the Quran in the Hadith, and that is not contradicting the Quran because the Quran in different verse in chapter of Al Baqarah saying that Allah will cause the Quran to be forgotten. And it doesn't make sense that all the Muslims will forget the Quran except Muhammad? Why? <laughs> and well, yeah, that, that's their understanding. They get trapped in their own understanding just because they want to, uh, you know, just abrogate the Quran. They're just rushing towards abrogation. So what do you expect from them? Yeah, but, you know, and why he don't want to give me a scholar to understand the Quran? You see, when I... Uh, uh, when I, uh, a Christian, uh, a Muslim, he asked me, asked ask him a question about the Bible. You have to take it as we understand it, not as you like. So now I'm not asking him to, I, I will explain to him the Quran. I'm asking him, which scholar you like? He yeah. Said, do, do you know why he said to me, okay, well, which one you want? He was, he, yeah, he, he was just going around in circles. Yeah, because he don't want to give me one, because if I give him one and then he will find himself busted, he will say, oh, I don't like this guy. He, yeah, yeah, that's he, true. Yeah. That's true. This is why he don't want to give me. Uh, this is why I insist. I want him to name one, but yet he, the coward, <laughs> he will not dare to name one. I mean, is it possible that all the scholars in the world, not even one of them, agree with you? 
Yeah. Which sect is that? Is is the sect you? You, you he is Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> right. Yeah, he must be Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, there are few Kranis, by the way. We're not in numbers or something. It's hard. Anyway, so you will notice that Muslims always, everyone he tried to create his own idea about his religion, because this religion is very confusing. Nothing makes sense in it. Very silly. Very stupid. Uh, the only way to survive it is just copy and paste. And now, how many we have? We have almost 900 people watching. If there is any Muslim, he can tell us what this Islam is about. If there is any Muslim, knows what Islam is about. I don't know. Worship Allah, worship Allah. Who is Allah? They don't know. Allah is the creator. I will not ask you what he do. And how Allah is the creator when the Quran says there is many creators. Which one? The Quran says, Allah is the best of the creators. He's what? He is the best of the creators. If you want to say to me, this is this uh, this verse is not uh, literally, that would be stupid because how you say you are the best of creators when there is no other creators? That means it's a lie. You don't say I'm the best of the student if there is no other student. As simple as that. So who is Allah? The Creator? No, He is not the only Creator according to Islam. Unless you believe that Allah did lie. Do you believe Allah did lie? And you will notice that the Muslims, when they translate those verses, they change the translation to cover up the stupidity of the Quran. You notice here it says Allah is the best to create in the translation. Is that true? Absolutely false. In Arabic it says, Ahsanul Khaliqeen, the best of the creators. Change the translator, you will see how the translation in a miraculous way changed. Liars, no dignity. They are willing to corrupt their book. Here we go. We just change the translator, suddenly it's, it is different. There's a huge difference between the best to create and the best of the creators. So who is Allah? Allah knows best. Who is Allah? Allah knows best. You don't know. If there is any Muslim, he knows who is Allah? You don't know. Who is a Muslim who is willing to call me live on air right now? Any Muslim? Uh, somebody saying why God sent evil spirit uh, you know sometimes people they ask questions either to question which mean a decent question sometimes it's just to be to plead them God he created in Christianity God he created angel not the devil the devil chose to be a devil I mean the angel he chose to be a devil so you know if the evil if the evil one turned to be evil by their choice that is not God and when we say, uh, let's say, I say, uh, God, he unleash evil spirit on us. What does that mean? We forsake God, so God forsake us. It's like you have a, you know, you have a house protected by fence. And then you say to the one who made the fence, you know what, take your fence, I do not need it. Ah, okay, I leave you without my fence. And the evil spirit is coming to you. So people, they, they come with silly questions because simply they don't want to think. Now, do we have any Muslim who would like to call me? Who is a Muslim have a knowledge? He can call us. Anyone? They make uh, videos, try to refute us, but they are funny. If you can refute us, really, you can call us. And then you can take this video, which is going to be priceless when you refute me, and then you put it in your channel. And then the Muslims were like, wow, how good you are, brother. But talking to yourself, winning a debate, eh. Win. You are a winner. There's two things they do. Either they bully, the bully business. Like they invited a guy, he, he was a friend of uh, apostate prophet. And 
uh, they start asking him personal questions. So tell us about his wife. Is it true that his wife is white? <laughs> is it true that his wife control him? Bully. Cowards. They cannot refute the guy. So they go after his personal life. Try to intimidate him. Try to bully him. Cowards. Halal Homer. Halal Homer. Kosher Homer. All is the same. There are potatoes. My Skype is open. If anyone have the courage and he is man enough to call, feel free. Anyone? Open challenge. Anyone there? Nobody there. How to call? You call me only if you are a Muslim. I don't take a call for now from Christians. Don't. If you are a Christian and you call me, I will block you. Not now. <clears throat> If you are a Muslim, you like to be live with us, just give me a text, I will call you back. Just to take calls in order of the ones who text us first. Muslims only. Any Muslim? Guys, there is no need for insult. Don't call anyone pig. Pigs are nice animals. Have you ever seen a pig making a video about the wife of other pig? Even pigs don't do that. Trashy. Garbage in, garbage out. <clears throat> Any Muslim? No, only Muslim can call us. Because we want to sh show you the other side of the story, you know? Not like Muslims, you know, they call, they talk to each other. And you notice, all of them, they avoid talking to me. All of them. All of them. Before I came online, there was someone, someone, say, some, someone was saying, the Christian prince, why don't debate Zakir Naik and go and see him? You go and see him? I mean, why do you want to see him? And if we can make a debate without paying a penny, why do you want to go anywhere? Where I will go and see Zakir Naik and Malaysia, I will be arrested right away. And what for? People, they need answers. They don't know, this is not a wedding party. Is somebody getting married? People, they need your answers, and none of you have an answer. And the proof, here we go, the challenge is open. Not a single one has an answer. They have no idea. <clears throat> uh, my friend, I don't like to talk about this uh, David Wood, whatever his name, I mean, what was his name? Kim Wood, Kim Wood, uh, Kim Wood. Uh, you know, it's good for him, actually. I mean, he, he took advantage of a, a stupid cult. He knew, obviously, he's a fraud, like Muhammad. Both are the same. They have the same equality. Muhammad, he used God to get his private part happy. His pocket is full. And this came, he did the same. So why, what's wrong with him? He chose, I mean, he actually in the right place. Right? Perfect. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Who is a brave Muslim who would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. My Skype is open. Anyone? Who is a Muslim who would like to call us? No, really. Do you want to make a video about my 72 wives? Uh, so, do you know the wives of a Christian prince? Yeah, yeah, I know that his wives, yeah. Is he good in bed? <laughs> what was missing in that interview to ask about is, is he good in bed? <laughs> Unbelievable. What a garbage people. What a garbage. Uh, 
the one who sent me yes what is that yes mean are you a muslim if you are a muslim send me a text says i am a muslim call me don't tell me uh, what yes don't send me yes don't say send me don't tell me hi all right cowards from their fruits you shall know them we debate them about the religion they debate you about the wife of a guy and look this guy the poor guy this is uh, what his name Samir Abdullah I don't know if you watch the video he did the, the 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 Muslim with the long beard you know he took money from him many times he loaned him money many times he uh, forgave him not to pay on time many times he helped him in his business he uh, referred him for a job I mean he helped him a lot and look how they betray each other you see how long beard what long beard can do long beard like a broom after all what this guy did to them they betray him they are making fun of him making fun of his wife cowards no dignity you cannot trust them even Uthman ibn Affan was killed by Muslims all the caliphate actually were called by Muslims you know who destroyed the Kaaba? Muslims who burned up Muslims who burned the Quran? Muslims who killed the caliphate? Muslims who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Muslims who went after Ali to kill him and his family Aisha this is their the most honorable woman you know they speak about her criminal she is a criminal too Uh, Yasser Qadri, he sent emails to Muslims. Who is the one who leaked the email? Muslims. Fifi. Trustworthy. And the Muslims, they say our, our, uh, uh, our best example is the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> exactly. That's what we are talking about. Your best example is the Prophet Muhammad. Go subbing, leaking emails, ch cheating on each other. I mean, eh. He's our best example. Yeah. Anyway, until now we don't have any Muslim even texting. Anyone? Guys, don't send me texts in Skype just to say to me things you can say it in the chat. I hope Muslim will leave Islam. I hope Twitter. Don't send me those things. I have like, I don't know, I, mean, I don't know how many 10,000 I have in my Skype. So if I'm going to click at each text. You're wasting my time. You're not helping me. You want to chat? Chat there. Do we have any Muslim? Where are they? So the throne of Allah, Allah he have a throne, and Allah he sit in his throne. And look what the Quran says. Allah is using kursi. Actually, there's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of the chair. It's not even a throne. Kursi, which is an Aramaic word. Look what the Quran says in chapter two, verse number two five five. How big the throne of Allah? very big brother very big brother very big okay how big it is huh his kursi extend over the heavens and the earth right? this phrase alone is enough to prove to us that muhammad is a fraud because you cannot extend a chair over the heaven and the earth unless the heaven and the earth are in the same size you see if you say over the heaven, I mean the earth is what? It's a dust. Correct? The earth is a dust inside the space. What over the earth and the heaven? But because Muhammad all over the Quran teach that the earth and the heaven, they are like a frame, you know? They have the same size. And here you will notice something very funny too. If Allah is a chair is in the size of the heaven and the earth, that's mean he is smaller than both. Why? Because he's in the chair. You know what I mean? If we go to the chair, 
where Allah is said. Hmm? This is Allah. Do you see how Allah, Allah is inside the chair? Hmm. How big is Allah? I mean, I feel sorry for Allah. I mean, that means there's no more space. He can move around. That's it. Because his size, he is in a chair, and he is, his chair is in the size of the earth and the heavens. So where do you go? He's inside the box. Because this is the, this is the limit. That's it. Don't you feel sorry for this Allah? Imagine you have a chair. You are in the space. Uh, my friend, don't call me if you are a Christian. Don't call me. Don't call me if you are a Christian. What's wrong with people? How many times I need to say, don't call me if you are a Christian? Only Muslims. Don't force me to block you. Are you a Muslim? If you go in different verse in the Quran, your actions have rocked Indonesia. Many Indonesian Muslims are starting to find the truth of the Quran. Sure, sure. Yeah, I see my videos seen by 500,000, million, million, to, you know, million and a half. Yeah, Indonesia is, you know, is in revolution time because of what we did. I'm so happy for them. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them, man. We want to save them. Look at this. Chapter 69, verse number 17. It says that there is eight angels are carrying the throne of Allah. Eight angels they are carrying the edges of the throne of Allah. In the interpretation, it says that when the angels tried to carry the throne of Allah, they could not because it's so heavy. So Allah, he helped them. I mean, you are sitting in that throne and he helped them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heavy Allah. Very big chair, very big. And Allah on the top of it, you can imagine. Eight angels. Okay, if we go and see the interpretation for this verse, chapter 69, verse 17. We are opening a website, but this is Jordan government website. And this king is the, is the poorest king in the Middle East, so his website never works. 99% of the time. And it's not opening. Because I think the, the king is using the internet of the neighbors, Israel. Let us see the website of Nikathir. This is hosted by American Christian Company. It will work. Here we go. See? The, the website hosted by Kuffar. Look how fast it is. Huh. All right. So, chapter 69, verse number 17. <clears throat> Let us see what it says. And the angels will be on its side. Hmm? That's meaning uh, they will be standing on what has been a ground to powder the heavens looking at people of earth. <laughs> Actually, this is the, they, they cut off all the, the interpretation. They cut it off. That's why I'm trying to find the other one. Let us see if the website will work here. Yeah, you see, in English, the English interpretation have nothing to do with the Arabic interpretation. Okay, finally it's working now. Let us see. <clears throat> All right. Hmm.
All right. And the angels will be over its borders at the edge of the heaven, and above them the angels that have been mentioned. On that day the angels, or eight flies uh, of them, will carry the throne of the Lord. Let us go to the final interpretation to get more details. <clears throat> And the angels will be on the side of the throne, on its uh, extremist uh, side, different directions, part of the eight. He says eight different angels, uh, each one of them has four different faces, a human face, a face of an eagle, a face of a lion, a face of a bull. And it's also said eight rows, and it's also said eight parts of cherubim you see they are copying from christian words cherubim see we have cherubim now suddenly we have cherubim in islam you see it okay so it also said it's also said it's also said so who which one this is called this is supposed to be a translation for the interpretation it is translation for the interpretation but always remember translation for any Islamic books it's very doubtful about how, how truthful it is as an example Ibn Kathir most of Ibn Kathir in Arabic does not exist in Ibn Kathir in English for the one who translated is a liar he tried to hide a lot of garbage so never trust a Muslimic translation made by Muslims never hmm. So what Muslims can say to us? Guys, uh, forget about this guy. This guy is a kid. Where is this guy? I don't want anyone to be calling him names, etc. Just let, you know. He's just, you know, they are just trying to disturb you, taking you away from listening, so you will learn. And you fail into the trap. If a Muslim want to call us, debate us, his mother will come. If he's a kid, just ignore him. All right. Yeah. Actually, just to show you, as long as this guy he is saying Christianity is dead, well, I don't know how Christianity is dead, and you Muslims are afraid of from the, a, a verse from the Bible to be published in the Middle East. I mean, do you see how dead it is? To the point you are terrified that we go and teach and preach the gospel. If if it's Christianity is dead, so what's the problem? It's dead, right? In fact, Islam is dead. That's why Islam needs protection. If Islam was a life, a living religion, you do not need protection. You cannot protect something is taken over. I mean, why you need to protect it? But because Islam is dead. Let me show you what yesterday, this is a copy from the chat from yesterday, just to show you how hypocrite those who call themselves Muslims are. They are willing to throw their prophet under the train just to attack Christianity. Just to give you an example. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Muslim. Let us uh, put it on the screen. Give me a second. And supposedly he's trying to prove me wrong. Remember, this is to prove Christian Prince wrong. So, how they prove Christian Prince wrong? Let us see. Okay, put it on the screen. In the video, I was talking about Muhammad giving poison. The Muslim, he said, uh, giving poison, blah, 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 Muhammad died, blah, 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 okay. So Muhammad gave him poison by, in the year 629, and he died in 632. <laughs> At least three years? The hard-working poison? You are wrong, Christian Prince, or your statement incorrectly full. Hope you're blessed and Allah give you hidayah. Which is very silly to say because Allah he is the one who deceived me according to Islam. But look what he did now. The Muslim he just acknowledged that his prophet is a false prophet. Because who is the one who says, I am dying by the poison? Is that a Christian prince? No, it's your prophet. So you acknowledge that your prophet is a liar. Just to try to refute us, they are willing to throw Muhammad under the throne, and under, under the train. Here we go. Who is the one saying that? Is it me? Who is the one who said 
that I am dying from the poison I ate at Khaybar. Is that the Christian prince? Is that the, 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 the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus? Who is your prophet? So you are laughing, saying this is stupid. But by doing that, you just say your prophet is a stupid and he's a liar. Three hard working years. Why you don't tell that to your prophet? And you know, the, the, the funny, the reason the Muslims they don't want to accept such a story, because it's embarrassing. Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet, and the Jewish woman, she said, he asked her, why you did that? She said, well, if you are a prophet of Allah, Allah will protect you. If you are a fraud, he will not. And this is exactly what happened. And Muhammad, he said to her, uh, Allah will not allow you to do so. Will not allow you to do so. So he confirmed that is impossible. You cannot do that to me. So when you say your statement, you are proving to us again that Muhammad is a fraud. Because the, here, if he did not die by poison, yet he think he died by poison, that means this guy, he is not inspired by God. Who inspired him to think that he died by poison? Any Muslim can tell me? Who inspired Muhammad to say such a statement? Is that Christian prince inspired him? When I say they have low IQ, I mean I have my reasons. Low IQ. Did you think about it for a second before you post it? No. You are just Abdul trying to defend. It doesn't matter how you do it. Even if you are going to use the area strategy. Could you focus in details on good and verses in the Quran? You know what charity? The, the same verse says, kill the Christians and give the poor. And give the fifth to Muhammad, this is charity. So charity cannot be given unless you steal it. That's not, they are, they are dividing our money on them. They are the poor, supposedly. Charity. <laughs> I mean, do you see the charity? So I go to my neighbor, let's say he's a Jew. I kill him, I take his money, and then I, I take his food from his refrigerator, and then I say, hey, Christians, come eat, you know, come eat, huh? And I take the jewelry for me and my wife, and, uh, you know, party, party, and this is supposed to be charity, good deeds. Muhammad is a, is a caravan thief. Even the Muslim, they accuse him that he stole a panty underwear, bikini. Hmm? Can you join Bob and David in their live stream? My friend, they do not need me. I do not need them. Why do I need to join anyone? What does that mean? Actually, I don't like this joining stuff, to be honest with you. Because sometimes people, they say things I don't agree with. Let everyone do his things in his way. They do not need me, I do not need them. Do we have any Muhammadan have anything to say? Let me show you another uh, another uh, uh, quote uh, or post from a Muslim trying to refute me. Let us see. This is a Muslim, his name Ibrahim Ahmed. I don't know if he's listening. Mr. Ibrahim, you are welcome, my friend. And you are a genius. You are a genius. You know what genius mean? You are gene and yes. How are you, Miss Jean? I hope your lips stick is doing fine. I will put lips stick on your face now. Look what Ahmad he said. Ahmad obviously he was thinking so hard and he was copying and pasting as Muslims they say to us to insult the Christians. And he decided, okay, this is, will be very harmful. This is, will be really bad. The Christian when they see this, <laughs> man, they will die. I mean, that's it. I destroy Christianity. Look what he said. According to CP, Ahad mean one of it's funny it doesn't mean one uh, sorry it doesn't mean a, a one of but one for example Sunday in Arabic is yo you idiot isn't it Sunday is one of seven days in the week that's why it's called Ahad the second day is called two the third day is called the three idiot Supposedly refute us. 
Let me see another one. <clears throat> uh, I hope I did not delete them because I promised a, a guy uh, to, to answer him. Hold on. Where is the comment? I hope I did not delete it. Here we go. I think here. All right. This is a guy, his name yesterday, he came, his name is Kazi. Kazi, you know, Kazi knows best. He says, would the cross idol worshippers? No, no Christian worship idols and no, no Christians worship a cross. Otherwise, we will be kissing every electric column in the street. We don't. You are a liar. It's you who kiss a black stone. So look at them. They are the one who is idol worshippers. Look, I will, I will use your logic. The one who kiss objects, physical objects, he is an idol worshipper. This is your logic, right? Okay, why are you kissing black stone? If somebody is a Christian, he's kissing a cross, because supposedly the cross where Jesus died, he appreciate, but you, you know, this is, not, this is not from the teaching of Christ. This is him showing respect, but you are kissing a black stone for what? It's a stone. Your prophet died in the stone? His blood was in the stone? What, why you are kissing a stone? And why your prophet, he said, the one who touched the stone, it erased his sin? You are an idol worshiper, you are a pagan. So what the Muslims do, they do, they go around the stone, they pray in the direction of a stone, they bow down to a stone, and they kiss a stone, and they believe it's a holy stone, and yet they accuse you to be idol worshiper. Do you remember, guys, when I posted the... Uh, a chat I have with the Muslim website is called I think convert to Islam I don't know if any of you have it the video I asked the guy I said okay you know I have a question why you a prophet Muhammad is a stone took him a few minutes to answer and then he said because it's holy I said okay I said why it's holy and then he came to me after five minutes saying because it's uh, because he kissed it <laughs> Why you kiss the stone? Because the prophet kiss it. And why the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. Yet you are saying that we are pagans? And your prophet, he promised, saying that the black stone in the judgment day is going to have eyes and a tongue. Which I find very nice, by the way. I mean, just think about it for a second. And this stone is going to talk in the Judgment Day. <clears throat> we will show the Hadith, so people, they can see what we are talking about. In the same time, let us uh, examine this story, how it's going to work. Okay, so this is your black stone. I will put it in the screen. <clears throat> and anything I say, if I don't show you the proof and the reference, you know, challenge me. Like now I said, your prophet, he said the black stone is going to have eyes and tongue. And his mouth will talk. Say to me, you are a liar. And I will show you the hadith in a second. So according to your prophet, and you are claiming that we are the idol worshippers, this is your stone. She will have two eyes. We have to make eyelashes, you know, to remember. She is sexy and you know it, you know. Okay, black stone, she have two eyes. Big eyes. Not the same size, not necessarily, I mean. Hmm? We cannot have it with our eyelash, eyelashes. I mean, like, you know, flies and things, they will stop in her eye. That's what eyelashes for, to protect. So I'm assuming she's going to have a lot of eyelashes. And then she will have a mouth. Big mouth. Like all of you. Who attack me in my back, but you don't dare to be with me. Big, big mouth. Okay, this is the mouth of the black stone. 
And your prophet says she will have a tongue. She will have what? A tongue. Okay. That is her tongue. Who is the pagan? Hmm? Who is the pagan? You tell me. We are the pagan who believe that the stone have a tongue, have eyes. It's not metaphorical. Muhammad is speaking literally. Even there's a hadith that says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. The Muslim, they will say to you that if anything is embarrassing, they will say it's that. Do we have any Muslim trying to call it a scene? Uh, I mean, why people, they, they sound like they are Christian. The name here sounds like a Christian. Why are you calling it? Hello? If you are a Christian, don't call me, my friend. Don't call me. I will block you. Why people don't listen? Let us see here. Okay, let us see. Is this guy is a Muslim or he is what? We lost him. We have a person here. I know you don't answer questions, but I will answer. Okay, here we have a Muslim. Let us see this Muslim. Hello? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. All right, my friend. So you are a Muslim. I don't understand your text to me. Explain to me who are you, my friend. You are live on air. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. You cannot hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, I'm saying uh, your text is not clear for me. So are you a Muslim? Okay. Say so all all your family are Muslim and you are a Muslim. Okay. So what do you like to share with us, my friend? Well, my uh, my mother's side is Christian, and they were converts. And uh, when I was young, I wasn't taught much about uh, Christianity. I was raised in Islam, and mm -hmm. I believed in Islam. And in fact, a couple of years ago, when I was a devout Muslim myself. I def I defended Islam, mm -hmm. and uh, things were provoking it. It, could, it hit my belief. But when I started realizing, uh, rationalizing this stuff, uh, this uh, I understood that this doesn't make any sense. So, and uh, then people like you, David Wood, and uh, some other apostate prophet came. Okay, so did you so, did you decide to leave Islam now? Well, uh, I believe in Islam and I do not because, uh, in fact, I I, be, I would like to believe that Jesus in the divinity of Jesus because I I believe that I want to be saved. But uh, the problem that I have is uh, Jesus forgives everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone in Christianity is forgiven. So, what is the price of a crime? No, this is a this is a wrong understanding. When when we say everyone is forgiven, doesn't mean that you can go and go make a crimes. Forgiveness is for those who repent and promise not to do more, not for those who want to do more crime. And if you commit a crime, doesn't mean it's not there. Forgiveness simply is just God. He will not uh, let us say take you to court because he gave you a chance to repent and to be a better person. And you need to ask forgiveness even from the one, not only from God, even from the one who you decide uh, to harm. And if he is, let us say, uh, the person you harm is not exist no more, uh, you have to pray from your heart asking for forgiveness even, uh, uh, even if he is dead, let us say. So you have to be decent and you uh, repent and you need to, need to promise that you will not do it again. 
So the price of a crime is there. Jesus, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Which means, it's not just saying I, for, I believe in you. doesn't matter. It's not just saying I you know, wouldn't believe in stupid shahada. You know, that will not help you. Jesus, you cannot, you cannot fool Jesus. You cannot be fraud with him. You cannot say shahada and you're supposed to, you will go to heaven and you get all the girls. In Christianity, you have to be decent from your heart. So you have to believe. And if you believe, you do what you believe. In Islam, no. In Islam, you believe, you say something, you do something. In Christianity, no. So yes, there's a price for a crime. And everyone will pay for his crime. Okay, but what if your faith is weak? Okay, this is not my place to judge because no. it's God's. Okay, no problem. If your faith is weak, that's mean you don't deserve. I mean, it's your, it's your, it's your problem. It's your weakness, not God. Okay. You know. I mean, He gave you everything. He told you everything. Said you don't want to believe. That's your business. Yes. If a fireman he come to your house and he said there's a fire, I see smoke coming from your house. Get out. And you say no, I don't believe you. And then you are burned in the house. Is that his fault? That is my fault, not his. Exactly. So you You're know, right. God, He warned you. He taught you. He sent. In a, he did everything He can do to save you. And you said, "Still, you don't want to believe that. It's your business." Thank you for clearing this up. I hope that. I could prove my faith to myself first. I'm starting to be a believer and seeing the demonic Islam, it's true face, but I cannot express because in my Facebook, when I go to my page, I see all the things, all the, like the, the, uh, the apostate prophet ripping the Quran. Nobody's hearing what he's saying, but everybody's like, report this guy, report this guy. It, it saddens me so much. It feels like I'm alone. No, my friend, it's it's very good that they are doing that because the Bible uh, give us advice, says, from their fruits, you shall know them. So if Islam is good, why they are doing those things? Islam did not make them better people. So they are doing what they what Islam told them to do, a gang system, you know? So those things help us actually to prove the quality of the God. If the God is good, yes. then the followers, they should act good as their God. But their God, he was a gang, a gang member. He's a thief. Muhammad is a caravan rider. Exactly. Muslims, they are proud about him. He, they attack people in the street, take their money, take their wallet, you know? And he, he, he kidnapped women, he kidnapped children, he killed women. He cut her to pieces when she was alive. She's over eight years old. He, he brought a man, he tortured him to, to ask him, what is your money? But this is his money. Why you want, why you are torturing the guy? Because he's just he's a Jew. We, we have to take the money of the Jews. So. Muhammad is a thief, so what do you expect? What do you expect from somebody he believed in a thief to be his best man? You should not be surprised. So my friend, are you willing to accept Jesus as your Lord and denounce Muhammad as a devil? I like to denounce Muhammad as a devil and I like to, well, my faith is not that strong, but I'm starting to believe, so yes. I mean, to, Jesus. Hallelujah. I mean to that, here we go. Our friend here, he accepted the Messiah as his Lord, as Savior. And I want you to go right now and read Matthew chapter 7. And you will see okay. how that chapter will help you. And you will see the huge difference between the devil and the teaching of Christ. You see, teaching of Christ, you do not need a book. To be a different person a sentence just a sentence love your enemy love your enemy sentence one sentence can change the whole earth all of us christian jews hindus buddhas atheists doesn't matter love your enemy if everybody loves his enemy there's no enemies and if there's no enemy there's no army there's no police do you know how much money we spend in army which can build millions of houses schools which can make the earth flourish be like heaven if we practice one sentence of christ teaching but nobody want to practice. The human being is devilish, and Muhammad is the Antichrist, for he always practice exactly the opposite of what Jesus said. She said Jesus says, love your enemy, Muhammad says, kill them wherever you find them. Torture them, cut their fingertips, cut their neck. I've been ordered to kill and torture all mankind. So Muhammad teaching is totally the opposite of Christ. And Muhammad, because he's evil, he used the name of Christ to fool many. He says, we believe in Isa. Who is this Isa? Even the name is wrong. 
They don't even know what Isa means. They don't know where his name is coming from. But I understand. Isa simply, Muhammad most likely, he thought, he thought uh, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a brother, mostly. His name is Esau. And he thought, Muhammad, he thought, this is Isa, the brother, the, the, the son, sorry, uh, the son of Maryam, Maryam, the sister of Aaron. And he's not a brother, he's a son. And he thought this is the same person. So he thought Isa is a son of Maryam. He is his uncle is Moses and Aaron, for he's a fraud. And to, to make it more worse, he said that uh, the uh, the father of Mary, his name is Umran, but this is the same name exactly of the father of Moses. Even the name he called it correct wrongly. It says I say the Umran. He said Umran because he was listening to the Jews. He did not hear them correctly saying it. I mean he did not hear it. Not them did not say it correctly. So. Omran, who's who? He's the father of Maryam. Omran is the father of Maryam too. This is true. But Maryam, the sister of Aaron, and this is what the Quran says, oh sister of Aaron. When, they, when the Jews got him busted, they said to him, you idiot, what are you talking about? There's hundreds of years between Moses and Jesus. He said, oh, at that time, they used to call them by their great uh, ancestors, but, uh, but Maryam, Aaron is not even from the tribe of, of, of Mary, the mother of Jesus. So he is a fraud. The proof is all over. And you do not need to be genius to find out. Same time, fruits, my friend, always follow the fruit. From their fruits, you, you shall know them. And now you accepted the Christ. I have, I have an advice for you. You go to a church. Look at the fruit of those people in that church. Is it good fruit? If it is, stay. If it's not, because the Bible says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. There's many, there are false teachers, false priests, like Muhammad, doing business. So you have to be careful. From their fruit, you shall know them. A Christian minister, if you ask him a question, he have to be honest. He cannot be perfectly correct. Anyone, he want to teach you the Bible. If he is perfectly correct, he is a false person. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. If you ask him, what do you think? What do you think about Islam or any other topic? He starts saying, God, He loves everybody. This is not a question. God loves everybody. We don't get that. But we knew that the Bible says that people will go to hell and people will go to heaven. So what this is, I'm asking you is, okay. what do you think about Muhammad? If he starts saying to you, well, you know, uh, we believe Muhammad is Abrahamic. Abrahamic. So that's mean Muhammad is a good guy. The second they say he's Abrahamic, that's mean they are approving him and they are fraud. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Since when he's Abrahamic? What make him Abrahamic? Did Abraham kiss his stones? Did Abraham pray to stones? Did, did, well, did Abraham they, teach they, us to have they, sex with the children? Yeah. So when they say to you Abrahamic, yeah. what, what Muhammad do you have to do with Abraham? Nothing. Even in the Muslim books, it says that Muhammad, uh, Ishmael, sorry, according to Muslims, he was in Mecca, and he learned Arabic at the age of 11. So how he can be the father of the Arab? You know what I mean? If I go to Germany at the age of 11, and then you say to me that the German are descendant of a Christian prince, that would be the most funny, stupid thing. The German are exist already. When you say he, he learned Arabic, and he married from a tribe which is the enemy of the tribe of Muhammad. So Muhammad became from the children of, of uh, uh, Ishmael. And at the same time, the Bible says that Ishmael, he married an Egyptian woman. So the father is from Iraq, Aramaic, in his language speaking. His wife, she is Egyptian. And Ishmael, he married an Egyptian. So how the son is an Arab? You see? So Muslims, they use this uh, the strategy just to make you accept Muhammad by saying, like, and now these days, by the way, many of the Muslims, they do the same. They say, I am descended from Muhammad. Uh, al Qazafi, he is descended from Muhammad. Saddam Hussein, he is descendant from Muhammad. The king of Morocco, he is descendant from Muhammad. Al Baghdadi is descendant from Muhammad. Every scumbag in the world, he wanted to control you, control the Muslims. He claimed that he is descendant from Muhammad. But the Quran says, Muhammad had no children. You know what I mean? Yes. It's a fraud yes, system. Sir, it's a fraud yes, system. So to control you, they say, I am the of Muhammad. And then people, they will say, oh, he is from the prophet family. So we have to obey him. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. And the funny, the, the, the Muslims, they say, uh, like Muhammad is the prophet. So why you need to obey a family member? 
I mean, did he become a prophet too? Did he inherit prophecy? You know, even the Quran says something very uh, 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 exposing to the stupidity of Muhammad. Uh, when the when the Quran speak about the prophethood. What uh, the Quran says? The Quran says that Allah He made from the seeds of Isaac and Jacob the prophethood. But Muslim they say he's from Ishmael. <laughs> Read it. This is the Quran, chapter twenty-nine, verse number twenty-seven. He's quoting two names only. From his seed the prophethood. What names he's quoting? What is the seed? Isaac and Jacob. And here you need to ask yourself a question. Why Allah did not start with Ishmael? I mean, Ishmael is the elder in the family. How come he jumped Ishmael? So, and we made and bestowed on him Abraham, Isaac and Ish and Jacob, and ordained among his offspring the prophethood. What is Ishmael? stupidity anyway my friend i'm so happy for you that you left islam and uh, if you have any question for me i will be happy to answer you anything else thank you krishna prince for your time now i think i will research everything myself and thank you you're welcome if you want your family to talk to me i will be happy to talk to them you told me your family is still muslims right yes yes in fact uh there, it, uh, there was a Islamic political party in my country, and my grandparents used to be uh, some sort of thing in, in that. And um, my father, in fact, my father is not like them. My father is not a religious person either. He doesn't believe in God much. Uh, he, he lost his faith, I don't know, because of my grandparents or something. But he's kind of different. And my grandparents tried to force the religious view on them. So in this perspective, I, I get some liberty about thoughts, thinking. But I cannot express because I am supposed to be uh, Islamic. I'm supposed to say that uh, Muhammad is peaceful. Or else I'm going to... like You can search what happens in Bangladesh. Extremists everywhere. If you say anything about Islam, they will chop off your head. Yeah, and but uh, they, like, they, 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 they have they have money for the for knives to cut head of people, but they don't have money to fix their uh, trains, to fix their schools, to feed the poor. But right away you say something about Islam. Yeah, this is why, you know, uh, they they don't want by by terror they want Islam to stay alive. Islam is dead. How we can keep it alive? By terrifying anyone, try to open his mouth. It's a gang system. But that will not work, you know. That will not work because simply today we have we are in the in the age of the internet, and now soon there's a new company in USA. They are launching actually already they launch uh, uh, thousands of uh, satellite, and soon they will have internet, high speed internet, to every spot in the world, every spot. And many countries who they are very poor they will get for free. So look what will happen now. Things will become a revolutionary revolutionary nobody can stop the internet anymore even if you live in the middle of the desert and there's no cable there's no modem there's nothing you have a phone you have internet soon it's going to happen and they are planning that this will be starting from the next year it's not like 20 years from now so already they have i think two or three thousand satellite already launched and they need to launch way more the starting from 4,000, the project will start broadcasting internet, starting from USA, and then they will cover the whole world. So you can imagine what will happen. And remember here, uh, because it's coming from satellite, they cannot make a proxy, they cannot block anything, they have no control. You know what I mean? Like now, uh, Pakistan, they are blocking my videos in their, in, in their, uh, 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 through their proxy, you know, through the, the because the cable is coming through them at the end of the day, so they can block website, they can block anything. But by having satellite, it's not going through anyone. It's just coming directly to your phone or your laptop. How they can stop that? 
Islam is history, my friend, and revolution is coming. Actually, in the last just 15 years, what we were able to do because of the internet is beyond imagination. When I, when I see the Indonesian watching my videos by, by millions, I never thought I would be able to reach Indonesia, the biggest Islamic country in the world. Never, never I thought. You know, my dream was small. It's just to, uh, it, my start was very small, like a couple of people listening to me. And they don't, even the small number, they don't want to listen. Even the small number, they don't. We need to struggle to get 10 people to listen. When you make it 20, like, wow. Now I have right now 1,148 people, and this is not even my original channel. This is not my original channel. 100, 1,147 people live. So things is going out of hand, and Islam is dead. And as you see, where are they? Here we go, you call me, you leave Islam. Where are they, the, the, the sheikhs? Where is the sheikhs? Here you go, You're, you know, this is a Muslim, he left Islam. Who is a Muslim? Who is willing, Muslim sheikh is willing to call me right now and get him back to Islam. Who dare to do it? They don't. Because they knew they, can, they, they are no match. They only, they have big mouth when you have nothing. You are ignorant. And you know when we are ignorant, anyone can fool us. Anyone. People, they can take your credit card. People, they can uh, 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 rip you off. Uh, people, they can cheat on you. Ignorance of our, you know, human being, his best enemy, let us say the more powerful enemy is his ignorance. Why when the why when the light is off, you cannot walk fast, even if you are in your home? Because you are ignorant in this stage. Now we don't see. That's what ignorant can do. It turns you blind. You can step on the fire and you don't know. You can cut your feet, you do not know. You can step on a snake and you do not know. Ignorant. And you think the snake maybe is a something that maybe you think this is the hand of your wife. So ignorance is our enemy, and we are trying to save the Muslims by sharing the knowledge with them. This is what the Lord, he says, read the books, find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And look at this sentence, my friend, the truth will set you free, and today you are free. In Islam, even when you believe you go to heaven, you are a slave of sex. You will spend your eternity doing nothing but a slave of more sex, more food, non-stop. With Christ, he said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Why? Because the best gift he can give you is to be free. You have no needs. You are free. Imagine how beautiful it is to be free. You know, you go, you keep going, you keep going. You do not need gas. You do not need food. You do not need to rest. You do not need to sleep. You are just happy. And when the Muslims, they say that Allah is trying to make us happy by sex, can God make happy? Happiness higher than sex. I mean, he's God, the one who can, the one who created little joy of inside you. It's called sexual joy. Can't he make a higher joy? He can. That's why we call him Almighty. So this is the animal joy inside you. So your God, the false God Allah, he try to control you by the joy which is already exist. He is not giving you something. It is already exist inside the animal you. So he tried to make you more animal by making you more addicted to sex, more addicted to food, more addicted to needs. With Jesus, you are free. The same as an angel. You do not need to sleep. You do not need to eat. You do not need to get married. He and she equally, they will be the same as angels. Not like in Islam, the man, he will have 72, and the woman, she will be a sex toy. He and she. So my sister in Christ, she will go to heaven, and she will be the same as I am as an angel. We will not be angels, but we will be the same as angels, which means we have the nature, which this nature is free of all needs. No hunger, no suffering, no food, nothing. And we will enjoy a happiness no one can describe, for it's above all the happiness we knew. When you do have sex, okay, for how long you will be enjoying it? We don't want to go in details, but it's limited. And then after that, what? When you eat, how much you can eat? And what kind of joy is that? But with the Christ, God is almighty. He will make us a different person. You see, even in medicine, they give you some medicine to fight depression. Medicine, a doctor, you know? They do it in the laboratory. 
some chemical go inside your brain and make you happy, which is drugs. God do not need to do that. God, he will make you happy for real without drugs. He will not drug you. He wants you to be awake. He will not be to be addicted. He wants you to be free, and he wants you to be called the child of God. And this was one of the amazing things about Christ. When, when they asked him how we pray, he said, pray like this. Our Father out of heaven, our God, he don't want slaves. He wants children in his kingdom. This is not how much he loves us. Imagine you are the king of kings. And everyone in your yard is a child of yours in a noble way, not in a sexual way. He loves you as a child. He cares for you. He protects you. So the happiness of God, which will be given to the children of God, cannot be measured by a dish of falafel, as Muhammad described, or a private part sex. That is the lowest of the lowest human being trying to seduce us by the temptation of the devil. I mean, do I need to be a genius to know that this is from the devil? A man, he comes to your door, he knock at your door, he say, hey, believe in me and I will give you 72 women at least for sex. Isn't it obvious that this is satanic? In the top of that, 80,000 boys and the Quran say they will bleed. And you ask the Muslims, okay, if in the heaven, food will come to you if you think about it. Tree will walk to you if you think about it. A bird will be cooked and be in front of you if you think about it. So what, and your clothes will never be get dirty, will never be ruined. You will never even change your t-shirt. You will never take a shower. You will never sleep, you will get tired. So what, what the servant for? What is 80,000 boys who the Quran described them as white as pearls, speaking about how pretty they are? Very sexual, disgusting cult. In the top of that, how in the world I can be happy after abusing 80,000 little boys to serve me. Let us say for the sake of argument, they are for ser servant. How I can be happy having 80,000 little child abused by me. So look what Islam do. Instead of freeing us, all of us from slavery, we find that the heaven is the biggest slave center in the world. Each one of us, we will have hundreds and thousands of women, and at least this is the lowest heaven. 80,000 little boy to serve us. This is the biggest country, if we can say it's a country, of slavery. So while with Jesus we are free, in Islam we are slave owners in the heaven. Land of slavery and injustice. Because all of slavery is about injustice. Somebody controlling somebody. So they will say to you, oh God, he created them to serve us, so what? So what? Do you like to be one of them? Oh, no, no, no. I'd like to be served. See the hypocrisy? That is Islam, my friend. And if anyone, he have little dignity, he will notice that this is, cannot be from God. Cannot be, cannot be from God. The Quran described those little boys, they are as a preserved pearls. Why he is talking about white kids? Why they are white? Because Islam is a racist cult. No one is allowed to be in this heaven except white. Even the servant have to be white. The master have to be white. How this is can be from God? All right. Uh, okay, my friend. Thank you for uh, for calling, and I'm happy for you that you can accept the Christ. If you have any question, let me know in the future. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome friend. to take care. Take care. God have bless a good day. You, you too. <laughs> we have somebody. I don't know what he's saying here. Let's put it in the screen. I guess he's from Indonesia. I don't know if he's a Muslim. There's one unwritten rule regarding debate in Indonesia. When losing debate, then you must enter the winning religion. That is, that is why Islam always speak of dialogue. I never heard of Islam speak of dialogue. Islam speak of dialogue? So why Muhammad, he killed his enemies who don't accept? When the Christians, they came to Muhammad and they said to him, we want to debate you. Do you know what Muhammad he did? We just curse each other. That is the dialogue you are talking about? Obviously, you are an ignorant. You do not know what are you talking about. 
You see the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 61. A bunch of Christians came to debate Muhammad. What Muhammad did? Did he refute them? He did debate them? No. He says, Whoever disputes you about concerning Isa, Jesus, after the knowledge has come to you, okay, tell them, tell them, ah, come, come, let us call, call our sons and our sons. You idiot, those are bishops. They don't have sons. They don't have wives. Our women and your women, ourself and yourself, and then we pray and invoke sincerely the curse of Allah upon the one who lied. You see the stupidity? Where is the guy who said to me, dialogue? This is dialogue? Cursing party? I debate with a Muslim according to this. He will take the mic. May Allah kill me and cut my toes if I'm lying. You're a terrible Christian prince. Uh, uh, may Allah, uh, you know, uh, shorten my beard from 21 meter to 20 if I'm lying. Your turn. I pray to Allah. If I'm lying, that Allah will make me even more skinny. So when you turn the fan, and it will make me fly. Dialogue. I mean, this is the most stupid comment ever I heard. Since when Muslims have the yellow? Isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse 29 says, kill those who don't believe in Allah? This is the yellow? I mean, look how they fool you. We are people who believe in the yellow. Are you sure? Right away after Muhammad, he got his army. He had men to kill. No dialogue, kill anyone. And even when before, look at this dialogue. Let us curse. Okay, may Allah cut your shish kebab if you are lying. Your turn. What this is? If I am debating someone, he is a Hindu, and he said to me, I believe in 36 million gods. Should I say to him, You are lying? You don't believe in that? You idiot? This is what he believes. He's not lying. There's a huge difference between a person who believes in a lie. And a person who is a liar. Correct, guys? Because if I am a Hindu and I believe in a belief, like let's say some they worship rats. Okay, for me, rats are not God. This is a lie. But he's not a liar. The person himself who believes in that is not a liar. He's a, he's a truthful. He believes in it. So here you see that the one who made this verse is a donkey. The one who made this verse is a donkey. If I'm debating with a Muslim and he is truthful, he say, I believe that Muhammad is a prophet. Muhammad is a false prophet, he's a liar. But the person who believes, he is not lying to me about what he believes. So this is a stupid statement. What dialogue? When you have a dialogue, you cannot speak to a turtle. Muhammad, he have a brain of a turtle. Like Nancy Belusi. Can you even find me somebody who have an, an IQ to talk to me? This is why they don't dare to call me. This is why they don't dare to debate me. The IQ is in the bye-bye. We Muslim, we have dialogue. Since when? Last time I called Mimi, he played for me a video. I was saying to a Muslim woman, second me. But the coward, he cut my video. It was her. She was insulting Jesus. And I said to her, the prophet said, they second me. Cowards, since when you have dialogue? You have mockery. You have bully. You have lies and you have violence. And yet you claim that you are a person of dialogue. And here we go. I am here. Who want to debate me and make me lose? And then I will accept Islam so I can get the 70 turtle. I like to have 70 turtle. Are you sure those are virgins or turtles? I mean, the idea even to accept that there is a God, he will give you a lot of women for sex, it proved to me that you must be stupid and mental. You open the box like we are here, the women Allah promised us, and they start jumping on you like, what is that? You know, when you talk to a, a person who is a thinker, someone who spends his life studying, you know, deep, uh, trying to observe this amazing world, and then you say to him, I will give you a box of women. I mean, what, what is that? Is that the priceless gift of God? The promise alone is a stupid. I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about their logic. 
Uh, if we know what kind of God he promised me, women with big boobs. What if I like them small? Huh? I mean, they have to be big. How big? How big they are? Why this God is focusing in the boobs of the women and their size? This is going to be God. Brother, if you believe in Prophet Muhammad, brother, you will get women with seven boobs, brother. Seven boobs, brother? Yes, brother, seven boobs. Booby, booby? Yes, brother. Like the one we saw in cartoons, Scooby Doo? Scooby, Scooby Doo. This is God. This is God is trying to make me believe by talking about the size of the boobs. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Should I take with me like a, a measurement tape so I can measure how big they are to check if there's like a defect, we can return them. Is that the policy? Like Allah maybe, you know, the hadith says that Allah, he spent 1000 years to soften the skin of a Muslim woman in the heaven. Why? She is a legator. 1000 years. I mean, get some Vaseline, you idiot. There's a machine can make concrete softer than the skin of a little baby in less than five minutes. 1,000 years took Allah to soften the skin of each woman. Why? Guess what, what the name of this animal, the slow one? What is the name of this animal, the slow one? Anyone knows? I forgot his name. He's very slow, you know. Yeah, this guy, here we go. Huh. We found him. But even this one is, is a faster than Allah. Here we go. 1,000 year, why? What's wrong with this God? The Muslim, they say to us, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be is going to be. Yet it take him 1,000 years to make to make one woman skin smooth. Go to the pharmacy, get some Vaseline, Nivea. You know, your wife, she would become a, a, a smooth like, a, and why 1,000 years? So she is made from what? I mean, can't Allah make her what he make her from the beginning, smooth? So like what? He was using concrete and uh, there is stones and then they have to, he cannot just make it, uh, make her like a smooth. This is making me think that Eve, she was like made of uh, uh, solid rocks and uh, what is that? Very slow, Allah. How come Allah is so slow to make the women's skin smooth, but he is so fast to make verses for Muhammad private part? Muhammad, you want the women? Right away, the verses there. Any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. This is a privilege for him. Do boom boom to her. Right away, the verse is there. Check my sky. Okay, let's see. I will debate you. Oh, okay, we have a Muslim here. Hold on. <coughs> There's a Muslim is challenging me now. This guy sounds like very serious. Huh? It says he is not online. Mm -hmm. Let us try to call again. He is not online. He was excited a minute ago. Okay.
Look like he's going to answer. Well, call me, my friend. If you get my call, and you know I tried to call you, but you did not answer. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> so you know, when a, when a Muslim he speak about, uh, he have a religion, he have a belief, he have a God. I wonder where are they though? So what, what is your religion? I don't see it. Hello? Please uh, pick up uh, the phone now. Hey, yeah, we are picking up the phone. You are with me, right? No, 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 huh? What? What? Okay. Hang up. He said to me, pick up the phone. I don't know what phone. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Yes, you are live on here. Go ahead. So I, I just I just joined uh, a few a few minutes ago. All right. What do you like so, to say to us? So what about Mariam and Harun? What are you talking about? About what? I'm the wrong historically. Uh, I lost your voice again. Uh, about what? How is it wrong historically? About the story. Someone, someone just told me. Story of Maryam? Yeah, story of Maryam is wrong because. Years of my, okay, my, my friend, if you search right now in Google, what is the name of the Prophet Musa in Islam? They will say to you, the father of, uh, of Musa and Aaron, they will say to you, Amran. Okay. What is the name of the father of Mary? Amran. Okay. The Quran says that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron. Correct? Chapter 19, verse 28. Uh, sister of Harun. Okay. Yeah. The Muslim, they say, oh, the prophet explained. Verse? Chapter 19, verse number 28. When, when a Jew, his name is Ka'bul Ahbar, okay. he came to Aisha. He said, the prophet, he said this, as I know, there's hundreds of years between them. Aisha, she said, which means you're a liar. So Muhammad was not meaning, meaning something else. He meant that she is really sister of Aaron. But when he got busted, he says, oh, they used to call them by the great ancestors. But Aaron is not the great ancestor of Mary. She is not from the same yeah. tribe. Secondly, how Mary's father became the same name of the father of Moses. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, you, can, you, can you give the reference of Hadith? Oh, the, the hadith about, uh, about Aisha? Yeah, yeah. I'm showing you now the Quran. You see, let us go first with the Quran. I will show you the hadith. The chapter of Ali Amran. Do you know chapter of Ali Amran? Chapter number three? Yeah, Ali okay. Amran, yeah. Okay, who is, who is Amran? After Huh? Uh, I don't know that much about it. I, I just uh, read it. Well, Amran supposedly is the father of Mary. He is the father of Mary according to Islam, and Amran is the same name for the father of Moses. <laughs> you know? So, uh, how I in mean, the world. Uh, they, they both can have the same names, though. 
Well, first of all, that can be true, but the father of Mary... That can be different person. But my friend, the father of Mary, his name is not Omran. I mean, we have the Bible. So how Muhammad, he changed the name of the father of Mary, and he make him Omran to make it the same name of the father of Moses. You see, if, the, if both of them, they have the same name in the Bible, we can say the same, actually, what a big deal. Both of them, they have the same name, Omran. No. So Muhammad, he changed the name. He did not know the name of the father of Mary. So he said, well, uh, uh, Amran is the father of Maryam, and he is the same one, is the father of uh, uh, Moses. Moses. And this is a clear evidence of etc. Let me Let me find you the hadith. Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I will find you the hadith, you know. Here we go. Let me let me uh, put it for you on the screen in a second. Give me a second. So, what does the Quran nine thirty one say about? Let us see. The Quran nine thirty one. I'm trying just to find the hadith. Give me a second, please. Um, hold on. Yeah, uh, the ayah is like, Oh, you want, you want to go to that one now? You want, I mean, to, you want to check the topic? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I don't want to change the topic, but uh, I want to learn about them both. About what? You can, you can search for the hadith uh, in that time. Okay, so what, what do you want now? What do you want to talk about what? About the verse? You're speaking about what? 931. 931? What about it? Yeah, okay. Let us go. Yeah, what does that say? The meaning? The meaning of it? Okay, hold on. Let us open the Islamic website. Yeah. Which have a translation. I will wait for you on the screen. <clears throat> and I think you speak Arabic, right? Uh, no, I don't. I don't speak Arabic, uh, but I can read Arabic. All right. Read with me on the screen. You see it? Uh, yeah, I see it. Uh, what does it say? The Muslims they say the Muslims get angry from me because I say the verse here saying they took their monks, their their uh, uh, rabbis and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. They say it doesn't say that. Okay. I want you to look with me. I'm going to point my mouse at the word. And you tell me what is the translation says. Do you see it? I, I'm not watching the video right now. Okay. Because I don't have I will read, I'll read what it says. The, the, here, the, the website tra translate, ahbaruhum, translate, they have taken, I will move to the second. Warahbanahum and their monks. As lords, beside Allah, yeah. And the Messiah, the son of Mary. Allah. Okay. So and the Messiah. How come they say I'm lying? I mean, it's in the front of them. They took their monks. Let us put the sentence together. They took their yeah. monks. You know, here we go. I will move my mouse. They have taken. Let us zoom in more. And we will we will move. Uh, here we go. They have taken their rabbis and monks, our Baban, as lords. We continue. Instead of Allah or beside Allah and the Messiah and the Messiah beside instead of Allah and the Messiah, son of Mary. <laughs> this is what they were saying. They yeah. or, they've been ordered. There is there is no other the other explanation for it. This is the only explanation. Well, they try. They try because because the, because the, the first is, is after. Yeah, but the, but the most them they try. 
to say, oh, he meant in Arabic, you can put the, the name, of like uh, so what they are saying, that the word al-Masih here, it's been delayed, there, there's a delay. So they say that in the Quran yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. It's a delay because it would have been with those words like monks and rabbis, but it is not, it is written after. Yeah, but there's no way because simply that would make it stupid, why? I mean, isn't it the Quran says we made the Quran clear? Why you need to delay it? Why you don't say? Yeah, they took their. It is. It is supposed. To, yeah, they took their. They, they yeah. took their, their 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 rabbi, and their monk, and Jesus the Christ as God. That would make sense. But to say they took their rabbi and their monks and as gods, and beside Allah, and the Messiah, that's really stupid. How delay? How how this is can be a delay? How we can explain it? No explanation. Yeah. No. Yeah, but I believe that this verse was written by Muhammad, given by Muhammad when he was a Nasara. Remember Muhammad, he married to Khadija. Yeah, my, my, because it's confusing, why would, he, why would he write that? Yeah, and Muhammad, all the Muslims agree, correct? And you know that, that Muhammad, he married Khadija, correct? Khadija was what? Yeah, well, was Nasara, right? Yeah. And Nasara... He married. And, and, yeah. Yeah, and Nasara will not marry you to your to their daughter, a woman. She will not marry you unless you are Nasara too. So Muhammad was Nasara, and this is why he was learning from Waraq ibn Nufal. Waraq ibn Nufal was Nasara. They are not Christians. They are like Jehovah's Witnesses. So in this no. case here, Muhammad is trying to be. He's a hypocrite, trying to associate himself with the Nasara. I don't know if you lost him. Did I lose you? Hello? I think I lost him. Yeah. Are you there? No, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Muhammad uh, was trying to associate himself with the Nasara. So he want to make them happy. So he says, yeah, Jesus and uh, Allah, they are God. The father, the son, you know. Later, Muhammad, he turned his back to the Nasara because the Nasara did not accept him. Same, he turned his back to the Jews. He was trying his best to be a Jew. He prayed to Jerusalem. He dressed like the Jews. He wear the hat in his head. Uh, he, he ordered circumcision. He forbid the pork. Uh, he, he did everything. And the Jews still didn't accept him. So when the Jews refused him, the Hadith says, if 10 Jews only accepted Muhammad, the rest of the Jews will accept. So he could not even make 10 Jews accept him. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, you are supposed to be humble with people. But uh, I, I see Muslims are humble with you. But uh, you are good. You are talking good with me, but uh, not to all Muslims. Yeah. I, I demand if you are a person who speak to me in a decent way. You are not rude. You are not filthy. Then I will speak to you in a nice way. I speak to people depending what yeah, they deserve. I, I, I'm saying that you are humble with me. Yeah. I am humble with everybody, but if somebody try to intimidate me, try to use you like a, name, yes, uh, like then then I will then I will give him what he deserve, you know. You, uh, donkey is a word. Yeah, well, donkey donkey is a good word actually. The Quran donkey. use it, isn't it? The Quran says those who carry the Torah is the same as donkey carrying a book. So if the Quran can use, why cannot use it? You you cannot you cannot convince some. You cannot convince someone with is that behavior, you know. No, I can't. No, I can't. I have, bad. I have thou. No, no, I can't. Like I have, I have thousands of people who I say to them donkey, and then they leave Islam because they notice that this is true. It's a don They are donkey being donkeys. Read with me. This is the hate I promise you. Let me uh, show you first. Okay. The hadith and Aisha. So... Uh, I'm just trying to find the hate about Aisha the, first. Hold the on. main problem, and meanwhile, yeah. the main problem I find with is Trinity. I mean, it's so confusing for me. I, I watched it many times and learned, learned a lot from videos and uh, also the chapters. But yeah. it's still confusing. What What is confusing about it? What do you mean? Why would God need uh, three persons? Who said that God needs? One God. Who said that God needs? 
So if Absolutely. I am okay, hold on. So if you know, uh, I will go with your logic. God needs. So if uh, if God needs, that means why God need a prophet? Hmm. God needs. I'm going with you. That means he need? No, it's not he need. But why God you need a book for you to send a book? That's his need? No, this is not his need. This is your need. But when God he says I am in a three percent, that is not a need. This is how he is. There's a huge difference between need and how he is. How God he need to be God anyway? I will go with your logic. You see why God he need to be God? Can't he be something not, not be something else? <laughs> so I why say why God he need? We need to study what that word need means. So it's not about need. He says, I am this. Either you accept me or you reject me. This is not about need. Secondly, uh, everything around you, you see, when we, we talk about creation, creation, everything is a created. You will notice that everything is a created, have a fingerprint of the creator, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, what? Even the Quran says, and we made it from the water, every living thing. What is the water? H2, H2O? The source of life for all plants. Yeah, animals. because everything is really made from water. Uh, if you. Yeah, this is, this is uh, true. Even, this is uh, true and wrong. Comes. This is true and wrong. But I mean, in Islam, it's strong. Why? Because Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he created the genie from fire and the angels from light. So how you say we created everything from water? That is stupid. However, but I'm showing you that the fingerprint of God is everywhere. The water, yeah. the, if you, if you go study right now, the design of the trees, you will find that all the trees is three to one or two to one, which is a three. Like, you know, uh, the, 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 the standard of the leaves, how they are designed, the location of the branches, all of them, they have the, something called the golden ratio. Golden ratio is what is three. Three, number three. If you want to have a house, in order to make it beautiful for your eyes, yeah. it have to have to work with the golden yeah. ratio. Otherwise, it's going to look ugly. So, the the uh, uh, the design of God is everywhere. So God is not about a need to be three. It's about He is in three person, and that makes sense. Why? Let me explain to you more. Uh, if I say to you, we have water, and I say to you, I have ice. And I said yeah. to you, I have, a, I, ha I have a steam. Isn't it all water? Water, ice, water as a liquid, ice and steam. Isn't it the three of them are water? I think it was, yeah. Okay, so Water as a steam look different from water as liquid, from water as ice. Totally different. Even the scriptures look different. But still, they are water. What happened? We changed just the temperature. I mean, uh, the chemical chemical composition is same. It is. It is. It's still water. Still water. Nothing changed. So look what happened here. So even yeah. even the water which made it from H two O, which is a three. Even it is present itself to yeah. us, we know yeah. it as three, which means in order to recognize things, yeah, three. God, he explained things to us in three way yeah, to make it more clear to us. So God, when he came yeah, to us it, as a man, it has, it has, okay, go on. When God, he came to us as a man, don't a human being says, okay, why God don't show himself? Go on. Don't they say that? The atheists, they say to you, if God is true, why don't show himself? No. This is what the atheist says. If God is true, let your God show himself. Eh, God, he came, he showed himself. So it was not the need of God, it was the need of a man. That God, he come himself, and he show himself, humble himself. So what the Bible says, that God, he humble himself, and he come in an image of a man. It's not God, he's a man. Yeah. It's God who humble himself. So the invisible God, he became visible as a man, so a man can see him. Otherwise, the glory of God can destroy you. It's like, you know, if you if you get close to the sun, just a little bit close. I mean, even in, in hot days, if you stay in the sun for yeah, a few guess, hours, you will die. Yeah. So, so God, he humbled himself. So he it is not for, out. so it's not for the need yeah. of God. God himself, he don't have the need, of man. the need. It's the need of man 
to know God. So God, he come as a spirit. Is that the need of the man or the need of God? No, God don't have needs. But God, he Isn't present it? himself to us yeah. in a person of a spirit, so he can be with us. But wait, wait. Hmm. Uh, men, of, men of that time needed God to see. God came down as a man, but I, I need to see him to, to believe. Why, why didn't he come to me? No problem. You see, there is there is here there is a there is there, there is a question here. There is a question which is a good question. That like, okay, well God uh, Jesus He came two thousand years ago, and uh, why He don't show Himself? Who said He will not? You see, a person, a person. God, what what Jesus said? Let us uh, uh, pull some verses. When when Jesus He said, I will leave you, but I will not leave you alone. You know. Uh, and then He said. I was hungry and you feeded me. I was uh, and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me water. I was a, a prisoner and you visited me. And then, you know, he was counting those things. And then they said to him, But Lord, when we did those things to you? He said, When you did it to my, you know, when you did it to my brothers, which means the poor people, the one who needed you did to me. So who said maybe you did not see Jesus yet? You might see Jesus in the image of a poor man, a blind man, who said he is not there. The Lord, he will test us. A person who need help, he walk in the front of yeah. you. It might be Jesus. It's not necessarily a, a blind man. So when Jesus said to them, I was hungry, if you go to Matthew chapter 25, and you fed me, uh, and you gave me meat, I was thirsty, and you gave me drink, I was a, str a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you closed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then shall the righteousness answer him, saying, Lord, when we saw thee as an, a hanger and feed thee, or thirsty and we give a drink, he said, when you, when you, when you saw thee, you know, like when, when you do this to, 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 to the uh, to my my brothers, you do it to me, so I can be one of them. You saw me, so my friend, the Lord is always there. But there's people that want to see, and there's people they can see. Uh, yeah, um, they can see. Yeah. You know, if I if I say okay. to you right now, if I say to you, I'm just trying to use the logic. You know, you are trying to be logical with me. I want to be logical with you, and I will use a simple logic. If I say to you, yeah. uh, uh, two hundred years ago. Uh, there is uh, right now in the in the air. Uh, there is uh, there is voices, but we cannot hear them. You will laugh at me, right? Yeah. Okay. Why you will laugh at me? Because because ago. because at that time you cannot comprehend because. such a thing, right? We are not able to comprehend yeah. Yeah. such an issue, but not, we we need to prove, but. We cannot see it. So if somebody in the screen in the screen is screaming, hey, there's voices in the air. Nobody hear them. They are there. You know, uh, there's person who's talking and, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, his, his voice is there. There's waves. There's... You will not believe him. Just, you say he's crazy. That's, that's stupid. Today, yeah, a person, crazy. and right now I don't know which country you are from, and you don't know, like I'm in USA, but yet we can talk. And we can talk through satellite, we can yep. talk through the phone, we Technology. not only talk, uh, we, even images are transferring right now in the space, in the front of our eyes, we don't, we don't see them. Why? Because we don't have the equipment to collect those uh, waves of power and convert those waves into image. This is what happened to your TV. I mean, TV is collecting image, which is sent through uh, as dots on the air, but we don't see in the air any dot. But because we have the equipment, we see a person who's sitting at a TV station at the end of the world, we see him in the front of us in the bedroom. So what it was accepted, or what is accepted today, it is totally rejected yesterday. For there's no proof of it. Yeah, okay. For it's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible to believe so, in. Yeah. Um, so we can't say, what I'm trying to say yeah. to you here, we can't say that science is the way to prove that if Jesus is God, is existed between us or not, because science itself was ignorant. And until now it's ignorant. There's many things we do not know. 
Actually, what we yeah, know, but, uh, what we know is very simple. Thinking, uh, Muslims, Muslims, so. No, no, my friend. No, Muslims cannot say the same. Let, let me tell you why. Because we as a Christian, we believe in the living Lord, who always he present himself and he prove himself. First of all, the Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Which means, the first sign of the Lord is the fruit. The Lord, he put his blessing in, in somewhere, his existence somewhere. And that place and those people, they will be blessed and the fruit will come. The Lord, he will not bless a nation. This nation will not be blessed and they will not give good fruits. You can go right now and uh, see the kuffar and see those who are believers. You will find that those who claim to be believers, they are the worst between those who claim to be kuffar, according to Muslims. They treat you bad, you know, like when the Muslim, they go, they go where? They go refugee to Europe. They don't go to Muslim country. Why? In Muslim country, they will, they will, they will throw you in the, in the ocean, the same they did into the, to the, uh, uh, the Chinese, uh, what do they call them? Uh, in Malaysia, I forgot the name of this Muslim uh, tribe. They throw them in the ocean. The Malaysian, they throw them in the ocean. The Indonesian, throw them in the ocean. Nobody want them. I'm talking about Muslims, throwing Muslims in the ocean. Why? Because from their fruit, you shall know them. So the Lord always, he presents himself, not necessarily by coming to you in his person, he can come to you in a person of someone else. And this is how we examine your heart. And if your heart is good, then you will see the Lord. Like there's a requirement that I say to receive signal. Like when you are in a, there's an antenna. The antenna is made, it's like, let's say, it has a shape, it can receive signal, but there's no connection, there's no cable. So you will not see the Lord unless you are connected to the Lord. The Lord, he says, knock at my door and I will open for you. Come to me. Those okay. who are need rest, and I will rest you, I will comfort you. So if you say, how come I cannot see him, but did you look for him? Did you knock at his door? Did you try to find him? Or you are just making uh, a questionnaire? I have uh, start, started researching, yeah. Yeah, so in order for me, you see, for me, as a person, uh, uh, I, I, have a, I have a history when I was like young, I mean, this is long time ago, like 200 years ago, uh, if I see a fight in the street, I jump in the fight without knowing why. I mean, I don't know what the fight is about, but I jump in the fight. I don't care. If there's two guys fighting one guy, I join the one guy because it's not fair. You know, I used to like, uh, you know, fighting and blah, blah, blah. And, but the Lord, he changed me. So I saw the Lord, not physically. I did not shake his hands, but he changed me. And that yeah, is the proof. Of, yeah, you saw um, from your actions, yeah. No, he changed you. He changed you. He changed you. He changed you from very, very, very something extreme far from the other side, from somebody, you know, he had nothing to do with God to somebody he trying to help people to know God. But still, I'm not good. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm saying I have a long journey to go. I'm trying to know him better. I'm trying to get it close to him. And the more closer you are to him, the more you will see him. So, okay. So I will research more and I will talk to you. All right, yeah. my friend. Well, um, uh, so no, did good. you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Thank you. Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Why not yet? I mean, I have to. I have to research about it more. Okay. What? Why you don't? Uh, why we don't do now the research me and you, and see if we can help you. What is making you still believe I mean, in Islam? Is, yeah, is there a reason to make you still believe in it? Huh? If there is any yeah. reason to make you still believe in it? I mean, uh, yeah, wait, wait. I will tell you, yeah. Uh, I've, I've read Bible and Quran uh, in the same time, so uh, the Quran sounded more logical to me at some give time. Me, give me one logical thing. Give me, more log give me one logical thing in the Quran. Go ahead. No, I'm saying that uh, I was reading uh, from the beginning both. So, hmm. yeah, to some extent, it was more logical. I don't, I don't know. But Which one is logical? The Quran is, is more logical. The Quran is yeah. more logical. Give me one logical thing. Quran, Quran. Okay, give me one logical thing in the Quran, no problem. I mean, huh? I, mean uh, I was reading Genesis, Genesis and uh, I didn't get the point. Uh, about uh, Lord coming down uh, and finding and uh, Adam and Eve were hiding hmm. all of this. Yeah, but okay. yeah. 
okay. is my opinion, but All right. I, I will research it more. Okay, but the same stories exist in the Quran. I mean, you see, because you do not know that read the Quran, so you think that this uh, Muhammad is copying the, the Bible actually. Uh, uh, when 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 yeah. when Adam when Adam. Here we go. Let us go. If we go in the Quran, the the, the reason you know we, yeah. we you know we uh, we claim something uh, we think is not exist exist in certain book it's not exist in this book because we don't we don't read. All right. So if we go right now. In chapter 2, verse number 35. I'm not seeing the screen right now, so you can just tell. Okay, let me, I will show you a collection of verses, actually. So you are saying that if a God, he should know what Adam did, right? Yeah. Okay. I will, I will, I will start with a question. Did Allah he asked Jesus if he said something? Did you say that to worship me and my mother? Did he say that to him? Chapter uh, 5 verse 116. Who, uh, Allah asked who? Allah asked Jesus, said to him, asked Isa, said to him, Did you did you say to the followers to worship you and your mother? Did Allah say that to him? I don't know. You okay, read, me, uh, read the I verse, chapter 5, away. chapter 5, verse 116. It says, And behold, Allah, you see the Muslim translation here, they say, they are lying. It says, We'll say. They did not, it doesn't say, Waqal Allah, it's in the past time. Past, past. Qal, qal is a past time. And Allah, He said to Jesus, Did you say, Okay, to worship me? Why, why Allah is asking Jesus if He said that, if He knew? I'm going with your, with your logic. Your logic is, it doesn't make sense that God did not know what Adam he did, right? The Bible doesn't say that God did not know. Yeah. The Bible is speaking about why you are hiding. You know, it's like you know saying you know you go inside your room and you you, you have a little dog. He rip off uh, the the pillow, and you say him, well, uh, somebody did something wrong. Did you do something wrong? You know. So this is not about God he knows or not. And the Quran have the same logic. Allah is asking Jesus, did you say? To your followers to worship me and then look what jesus said he said uh, glory to thee never i could say what i had no right to say had i say such a thing wouldn't you indeed know it <laughs> which mean here the one is getting busted is allah yeah because jesus saying to him well shouldn't you know yourself that i did not say that why are you asking me and the bible doesn't say that and the bible didn't say that adam said to yeah. him oh shouldn't you know <laughs> So, you know, the Bible is speaking yeah, about is what? Weird, yeah. uh, speaking about Adam feel feel his shame, and because of his shame, God is a question. Adam, where are you? What you did, Adam? Why you are hiding? This doesn't say that God do not know. Here, Jesus are asking Allah supposedly, well, shouldn't you know? Why you are asking me? If I say such a thing, you should know it. Which means actually, if you if you think about it, this verse. He's saying to Allah, you must be stupid to ask me such a question. I thought you know everything. And now you're asking me, did you say that? Yeah, yeah, I get your point. Okay. So, so yeah, I will, I will uh, research it more, yeah. Yeah, so what is that? The, the first logic gun is history. It's a stupid. So what is the second logic? Give me a second one. I told you uh, I haven't found the second logic yet. Oh, you do not find. It's okay. Is it logical that God will give me a lot of women with big boobs? Is that logical for you? Yeah, it, yes. I, I just avoid that part. Yeah. Yeah, so what what kind of God he wanted? Why, 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 what kind of God he promised me women with big boobs? What if I don't like big boobs? I like small ones. So, so okay, okay, wait. Uh, so, what, what does your God promise to you? Uh, that's, after, that's, a, after, that's a good question. That. They asked Jesus the same question about a woman. She will be with who when she, she married more than one man? She will be with who? Who is going to have her? Jesus, he said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. So in heaven, when Jesus, he said, same as angels, he did not say we will be in angels. He said, same as angels, which means you are free. Free from what? God will free us from the needs of sex, food, medicine okay 
healing. Okay, but uh, aging. will we have free will there? Free will already you have it now. Free will you because have. Free, it. No, 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 no. Free will already you have it. You know, in Christianity. Because it is, it is a. In Christianity, my friend. We have it here. Yeah, you have a free not, will. Not a, no, in Islam you don't have a free will. Neither here, nor neither there. Neither here, neither there. In Islam there's no free will. In Christianity. Wait, wait. Uh, I know, I know where you are going, but uh, I have to clear my my point. So, yeah, we have uh, free will here, but we do not have free will because we are not able to do sin. No, right? you do. No, you do. You see, because a contradiction both, no, in both religions. No, no. Because when you choose to go to heaven, you choose. It's your choice. It is your choice to choose what is there. They, they told you what is there. Why you choose it? Why you say I want to go there? So we can say. Yeah, I want to. Choose. I want to. Yeah. I lost you. I would rather be in the presence of God uh, instead of uh, in the presence of some house or some other thing. Yeah. Exactly. But here you notice that in Islam, this God of Islam, he make you enslave of, of sex. You will become addicted. You see, this is addiction. You are not free. You will be, you know, the Muhammad, Allah will increase the power of sex. Every man will have the power of 40 men. Muhammad will have the power of 4,000 men. So how Muhammad can live? I mean, how this guy can even it's sleep? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, actually, if you have my book, you can read it. We have all the reference. Muhammad, he will have the power of, you can search it in Google right now. He will have the power of 4,000 men because, yeah. because every Muslim will have the power of 40. Muhammad will have the power of 100 of those 40. That will make them what? 4,000 men. Okay. Yeah. And not only okay, that, so Allah, he promised you, Allah, he promised you an endless private part and a, a vagina fit for that. Is, that. is that the logic of God? A woman, her ass is one mile. I mean, how stupid that promise is. Boys in heaven. Yeah. I mean, what did you say? Slavery. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where is the logic? Is that logic? So because I was a good guy and I was killing some Christians and Jews, Allah now will slave a lot of people to serve me. So instead to make me happy, he have to make thousands and thousands of human beings abused. Those boys are what? They are not a human? They are robot machine, they work by battery. No, they are human. The Quran described them as boys and they will not bleed. Okay. So I think it's enough for me. Okay, so are you going I'll call you some other time. Why why you don't denounce Islam right now? Why you don't say Islam is obviously is a, is a lie? Yeah, because I, I just told you I cannot leave anything. Uh, I have just spent 25 years or something about. So what if I am if I am uh, if I am riding I a if I am riding a donkey and this donkey is really bad for 25 years? Should I stay one more day in the donkey or move to a horse? I mean, I don't understand your logic. 25 years okay. even actually should should push you more to leave it. 25 okay. years with a stupid cult is called Islam. Isn't it time for now to free yourself? You are smarter than this. A God who say that okay. a sperm, a God who uh, say that a, a sperm okay. coming from the backbone of the man, is that God? That is a donkey. Even donkey don't do that. Women have a sperm coming from her ribs. But, but I understand, you know, you are, you are afraid to say it, maybe. Yeah, he's afraid to say it. I believe he's left, he left Islam already. But he's afraid to say, I'm out of Islam. As simple as that. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And he said something very important. He said today, like, you are not uh, calling donkey. You know, I call donkeys when somebody is a donkey with me. He tried to play games, you know. You, you are nice. You speak to me with respect. I speak to you with respect. You try to intimidate me. Good luck. You want to be rude? I will show you what rude means. Because people, they have, you see, the one who tried to be rude, he had a strategy. He think by being rude, he can intimidate you. You cannot do that to me. So you speak to me nice, I will never say to you, donkey. You know, the whole conversation, me and him, we have a nice conversation. He was speaking with respect. I speak to you with respect. 
But why do I want to speak to you respect if you don't deserve it? Never respect someone who don't respect himself. Never. Never. Because if you respect someone who don't deserve respect, he will think that he higher than you. He will not think about you that you are a nice person, gentleman, a smart man. No, he will think you are weak. And actually, this is coming from the Quran. The Quran told the Muslims that Allah, he curse on us. And he made us kind. It's a curse. You see it? Chapter 3, verse 112. So when a Christian is being nice to a Muslim, the Muslim, he would think, what? Well, this is the curse of Allah. He believe it. You think you are following Jesus, Muhammad, you think that Allah, he curse you. That's why you are nice. You see how evil Muhammad is? He could not explain why the Christians are nice. Why the Christians are peaceful. He said to them, oh, this is a curse from Allah. Arun and Sonia in the chat, they want to call you. Who is Arun and Sonia? They are Muslims? Okay, maybe tomorrow we can go live together. You know, I have really things to do. I appreciate you all, and I hope those who they are listening, they learn. Uh, you, you want to talk about intelligence? Islam doesn't fit with, with any, any form of intelligence. Even ants, they have a system which is extremely smart. Islam does not. Islam destroy. Ants, they don't destroy. Islam, they have a colony. Everybody have a job. What is the job of Muhammad? What is exactly the job of Muhammad? Sleeping with our women. If the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. I can show you the difference right now. This is the job of the prophet. Aisha, she said to Muhammad, Inni ara rabbuka yusaru ila hawaka, ya Muhammad. I see your God, you run into your temptation, Muhammad. Muhammad, you like a woman right away, the first come. We have verses about stupid things in the Quran, but we don't have a verse about what happened in the cross. Allah made it appear. That's it. This is the whole story. Allah made it appear. All of Christianity became just a sentence. Allah, he made Jesus appear in the cross. How that happened, there's nothing. So Muhammad had time to tell us about the flying carpet. Muhammad, he had time to tell us about the ants, speaking of the ants, about the bees. Muhammad, he had time to, about, about his private part. Any woman, she want to give herself to the prophet. He have all the time. The second we say Jesus, he jump. because he is a fraud. Thank you all for being here. We will come tomorrow, I hope so. God is willing. Tomorrow is Sunday, and if the Lord wants us to be here, we will. By his command, we do. And we have a free will to be or not to be. But his will is what we obey, willingly. And his will is to teach and preach and save the Muslims, not to hate them. Never hate them. You hate them, you became like Muhammad. You became a gang member. You kill them, you became like Muhammad. You have the right to defend yourself against any evil, no matter who. But you don't have the right to be a criminal. The one who live as a criminal he will die as a criminal. The Bible says, the Lord, he said, those who live by the sword, by the sword shall die, which means justice. You kill, you will be killed. And then you will be sent to hell, for you are a criminal, unless you are defending yourself. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and I will see you soon again. Christ is our Lord, he is our Savior, and there is no better name in the whole world, better than his name. His name is a glory. His words is amazing. His act is wonderful, for he is the wonderful almighty miracle. The only one who is a miracle is the Messiah. 
for God is a miracle. Even the stupid book of Muhammad says it clearly that all many they do miracles, but there's nobody was a miracle except Jesus. He himself is a miracle. No father, no sin, holy, amazing, living, and right now he is above in heaven, even in the book of the devil Muhammad. He is a miracle, and God is a miracle, for nobody can comprehend miracles. This is why we call them miracle. Why they are called miracle? For it's amazing, beyond understanding, astonishing. It's a miracle. That is God. And God, he put his miracle in every one of us. Just use the gift of God. He gave you a brain. Don't be a fool. A man who promised you women and private parts, he cannot be from God. You do not need to be genius. Use the gift of God he gave you. He said from their fruits, you shall know them. Examine the fruit of the devil Muhammad and his book, and you will see how evil he is. A rapist, a killer, a child molester, a thief, a liar, a deceiver, all of those exist in his book, written by his hand about himself. If he said all those things to you, how in the world do you believe in him? And again, as always I say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again.